So if you're wondering how to stream with a VPN, it's incredibly easy. As you can tell, I'm connected to the Japanese server with ExpressVPN here. So if I went to Netflix or any IP finder, it will also reflect that. So you'll see that it says here, top 10 movies in Japan today. So how do I change that? Let's say I wanna watch the sitcom Friends, right? Now, Friends is available in 17 countries, including the UK, but unfortunately it's not available in the States. So I imagine a lot of people would like to watch Friends, but it's not available in their country. So what I like to do usually is go to this website, unogs.com, and I look up the title that I'm looking for. This title specifically, again, Friends is available in the 17 countries. Now, what a VPN will do is it will make it look like you're in a different country and so you're able to access whatever is available in that country that you're connected to. And here's how it works. So you can go to VPN locations. By the way, if you want to try out Express or you want to learn more about it, I'll leave useful links in the description down below. And whatever discount I can also find, I'll be sure to leave it in the description to help you guys save a little bit more money in case you get Express. So again, the way this works is, let's say in this case, I want to watch Friends, right? I will go to Europe and connect to the UK server and that's basically it. Now I have to turn on the VPN. Now, one tip I would give you guys is generally when you connect to locations, the closer the location to you physically, the better the connection will be. Now, one way to make sure that the connection is as optimized as possible is by making sure that you're selecting the best performing protocol. Now, a protocol in the VPN context is basically kind of like the pathway to your destination. Imagine that you have a single destination and you've got multiple paths. So for example, one path could be a little bit slower, but safer. One path could be faster, but maybe not as secure. And one path could be longer and so on and so forth. So the lightweight UDP protocol in this case will be the most optimized path or protocol for speed and security and overall reliability. So you could really take their word for it here. So I use Lightweight UDP basically all the time. So just connect to a UK server in this case. And now that I'm connected, I can go back to the IP finder here. I'll give it a refresh just to show you guys that it's changed. And now I can go to Netflix. And if I go ahead and give it a refresh, you'll notice that it will change from Japan to the UK. So let's just take a look here. Okay, so top 10 movies in the UK today. So let's go ahead and just look up friends. And it should show up as you can tell, that's basically as simple as it gets. And it works the same with Hulu, it works the same with Disney Plus, um, Amazon Prime Video, and other streaming services that you're trying to access. It's basically the same principle. You change your location, and then you access the streaming service, and that's basically it. Now, another tip that I would give you guys is, if you notice that a specific show, or maybe you didn't access the uh, streaming service that you're trying to access, or maybe the streaming service found out that you're using a VPN and it gave you an error that looks like this, so Netflix, VPN error, it usually looks a little something like this. So if you happen to see this error, then it's probably just because, well, you're either not using a reliable VPN or the IP address of the VPN that you're using currently is not working. So sometimes that does happen. In this case, you just want to turn off the VPN and turn it on again, and it will pick up a new IP address. So let me just demonstrate here. If I just move this here and I disconnect it from the VPN and I connect it again, I want you guys to notice the number here. So this is the IP address that will change. And this IP address is basically going to represent in a way your location slash phone number on the internet. So it's personal information, obviously. So you want to reload here and you'll notice that the IP address changed. And so by this changing, you could also potentially fix any problems in case your Netflix gives you that error or it somehow detects that you're using a VPN or if the show that you're looking for, um, you know that it's available in the specific country, but it's not showing up. So again, what you can do is just turn off and on the VPN 
and give the streaming service another refresh and you should be good to go. And this is in a way inevitable, by the way. You can say that it's a little bit of a cat and mouse game between VPNs and streaming services. You know, streaming services are not exactly uh, huge fans of VPNs giving people access to everything regardless of their location you know, due to licensing rights and whatnot. But for a lot of people that are abroad, for example, and they want to, you know, maybe catch up with uh, shows that they're used to watching back home, this is how you can do it using a VPN. So that'll be it for this video. If you guys are interested in trying out Express, I'll leave useful links in the description down below, including any discount links that I come across to hopefully help you guys save a little bit more money and also leave links to a couple of other really good alternatives to express i personally choose express because it's the most reliable in my experience but nordvpn and surfshark are also great options so i'll be sure to leave some links to them in the description down below in case you guys are interested so that'll be it for this video if you have any suggestions or comments please feel free to leave them down below and a like and subscribe would be very much appreciated Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.